Ooh, what is up you guys, and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. And well, today I got ourselves a match against Dustin or Shuckle Death. And what to say about this guy? He's actually a very genuine good person. I had a lot of fun battling him, and we battled at one time before. And uh, yeah, really, I I uploaded this live, but sadly I got a filter on it, and I accidentally deleted the original. So, as a result, I I had to do this post-narrated, but it doesn't matter. It was a very long game, and it actually works somewhat better in post-narrated, because there was a lot of things going on here, as worth mentioning. Um, just to have it said, really, my team is not ready. I do feel that this is the final version of the team. A few moves that have been done, but other than that, this is the complete team. I had such a, like a vision to be able to use heat more tropius and Seeking in an environment together with Sudowoodo, so the best compliment I got was the Metang and Electros, or lesser, what's it called, Electri, I think. And uh, these two guys were just to compensate for the weaknesses. My opponent here, Dustin, is using Vibleon, Exato, Feraligator, Flareon, Leafeon, and Crustle. So a very, very tough team uh, in terms of quality and strength, and definitely a much tougher team than I'm bringing, and I really felt that going into this battle that this is going to be something else, and I was really hoping for him to bring the Vivlion, so I'll actually start off with my heat more in the beginning. And other than that, I mean, I knew my winning condition here was actually to keep my electric um, as healthy as possible, and uh, really, Sudowoodo here is very overdue against a lot of this phase off, so I'm not going to use him too well. And pretty much Tropius is very limited too, uh, on the case of what it can do. And my Matang is Power Punch, Bullet Punch, so I hope that High Blue helps is set up. So, I don't know, guys, you know what? Let's actually get to it, because like I said, this was a very, very creative and a good game. So, let's go. Yeah, so sadly, gonna start off with the, um, with the Crustle, really. And uh, I do know that he's gonna try out to set up, so I'm actually knowing that I'm free to go for at least one move, but I don't really want to risk it. I'd rather bring my Metang here and go for Power Punch, try to set up. And if you go for Rock Blast, it definitely would take me out. And I really need my Heat more for the Vivlion because I'm Scarfed, of course. So I do get one Power Punch there to set up Spikes. I'll go for one other. I mean, this is basically my set here. And I know that he's have nothing really to stop it with, so I just kept went going for it. I was fearing he might go for Lead Seed here and that would actually be in trouble. And well, I do outspeed here, so I go for another power punch, and he's gonna show me that he got roar, and I was just like, damn, of course, why not? So Groot is coming in, I know I gotta take a leaf blade, so I'll actually go for Stone Edge uh, right away. And it's gonna go go and do a nice chunk of damage. I do get a crit here, so that's kind of cool. He goes another roar there, and uh, Cryo is coming in. And I'm going to speed this up. Uh, Cryo is actually a set that is uh, something that works like really well. It is Toxic Super Fan with Rest Sleep Talk. Um, I would say I'm not proud of this set because I really ain't. But this was definitely something that was needed for my team to kind of function. And uh, pretty much I'm just stalling out here. I do switch it to my Tropius here because I really feel that a Leaf Blade is coming my way and I know I can soak that out and then just go for an Air Slash. Air Slash won't do too much but I can go for a Flinch and also the Toxic will wear him down Consider that my Tropius is faster than my Metang and I did outspeed him with my Metang. And I don't did a fair <laughs> chunk there and I get the Flinch and the Poison will take him out. So, um, yes. Awesome. So no more roar, so my Metang can come in safely here and go for the Power Punch, which is something I want to do, um, maybe, but really I went just for, um, you know, soak that Ice Punch there, I really didn't want to sack my Tropius just yet, uh, and I do take that fairly well here, and um, he does get a crit, so yay, <laughs> obviously it didn't matter too much, uh, so I'm gonna go to Hot Dog, uh, and I switched out myself because I did fear that he's gonna switch out, not staying in. And I know Cryo needs to take a few turns from his sleep talk, so uh, I just went with it really. So I'm going to speed this up yet again, because at this point I just really want to wake up, and I knew he's just gonna set up his full hazards. I don't have any Rapid Spinner or Defogger, so at this point I just accepted my situation at this point. I didn't know he got rest, <laughs> so that was actually genuinely frustrating, but... I kind of felt like this, that he had no way of um, doing 
any damage really and uh, he decided actually to sack this guy off and not go for another rest. Had he gone for another rest, I'll definitely gone for um, for my Metang and just stood up on it. Uh, didn't get that chance. Uh, so Hurricane is coming, he gets the confusion. Uh, it, Hurricane doesn't do too much. It, generally didn't do anything to be honest and I think it is because the set is uh, um, I think the set is something else to be honest and the way, reason I went for sleep dog there was because I did think it's gonna go for sleep powder so I know it really looks weird but I had the best intentions to be honest and uh, he yet to show my quiver dance so I don't know what the set is at the moment so Sato is coming in I just went for sleep dog of course and I actually get the super fang here which is super nice and, uh, well, I really wanted the Toxic off because I needed to get Toxic while I was in uh, sleep mode because then Synchronize wouldn't affect me. Uh, he also, he could have the Magic Bounce and he shows me the Calm Mind, which, which stressed me somewhat because, I, like I said, I can't Toxic it because he got the Magic Bounce. So I was at this point just like, fuck, alright. <laughs> Gotta get them deals going, I guess. So I'm getting, going into my Sea King, which is Assault Vested, and um, of course the Hazard will approximately you know, bring me down to almost half my HP, so that is going to be real frustrating, I can't switch around too much. And I actually take that Dazzling like, real nicely, I was actually fearing Psychic. Had he had Psychic, he probably wanted a one shot, a two shot at me from this range. So I am able to soak that out and finish him off actually, so... Kinda cool, I guess. Um, Seeking got a kill. I mean, yeah, go goldfish. But uh, of course, a bug bus will finish me off there. So yeah, that's that. That's Seeking for you. So I'm going to live in here, and um, of course, the hassle will take the toll on this guy. And I'm just gonna threaten him off with a flamethrower, which I realized the second I put on flamethrower that or went for it that it got the flash for Flareon. And I'm an idiot, basically. So I switched to my Tron because just for a second, really, um, I I do get the Citrus Berry on the switch in, which is kind of nice, but I know I can take any kind of damage from this guy. So I'm just going to go for Leech Seed, actually. And uh, the reason I d did that was because I just wanted to shut it down. I actually went for a Will-O-Wisp here, probably thinking I was going to switch out. And um, not a bad idea, I guess, but really, I just wanted to sack this guy off. Because I really wanted a safer switch in for um, Cryo at this point. The Cryo, of course, my electric Pokemon. Uh, so Firefang, you know, being <clears throat> boosted by <laughs> Flashfire is gonna take my Tropius out without a doubt, actually. So Cryo is coming in here. I'm just gonna waste my Sleep Talks moves, really. And I know his best bet is, the, um, uh, of course, that he got both the Will O Wisp and. Um, how was that? Um, with, and of course, uh, Wish stall. And I know I can take another hit from this guy before going into rest. So I'm actually gonna go for a Super Fang at this point because the lead seed and stuff will put me in a fine range here. So I'm not gonna take at least two more Fire Fangs, but I actually get a crit here. And that is very unfortunate because he is able to outspeed me here. And uh, yeah, basically, I have no means of um, you no know, fighting this guy. I don't wanna sack my electric just yet. And I actually know he's gonna he is forced to go for a fire fang at this point. So I'm just gonna bring in my heat more here and uh, take that and get the flash fire going. And like I said, he is forced to take me out here, and I know that. So that's why I, I knew he's gonna go for the fire fang. And uh, the toxic will actually be in a range here in combination with the lead seed to actually take me in out. So there is definitely a flare on out of the way. But my victory here is very, very short lived. I am scarfed after all, and uh, here I decided actually to go for a sucker punch, and I have no safe switching because of the hazard that is inbound. So sadly, even though I have four pokes left, I am not able to win this match, and it's very unfortunate. Uh, had I gone for Giga Drain, I'll actually been in a range where it would have done 70 to 80 percent of his HP. So I lose with a slither of health here, and basically I just can say GG Dustin. So yeah, the, I mean, also really frustrating with this loss, but in the end, I really felt it was somewhat fair. I mean, I set up that flash fire to begin with with the Flareon, and he got the crit fire fang on my lesser poke of uh, Electros, and as a result, I really feel that losing that poke put me in a position where I couldn't really stall anymore, and going for a sucker punch instead of digging with my heat more just was um, 
two two bad decisions in a row really. I should definitely go for wrist, not risking it with my Electros, and uh, I should definitely go for Giga Drain instead of uh, yeah instead of Sucker Punch. I really was hoping that he was gonna go in to uh, set up the. Uh, the Dragon Dance, or the Dolphin um, just to take me out directly, and I really felt that that was definitely a big misplay on my part, and um, then again, he only got two posts left, I could have dealt with both of them with Heat more, and uh, yeah, I I should definitely have, uh, you know, looked at my options at that point, and I didn't, I really just played by uh, by feels, really, and it paid me back, I mean, Dustin, definitely a good battler, and it comes to show here, did the right decisive moves there in the, in the end, and as a result he won, so I'm not gonna take away his victory, he played great and uh, I did the best I could with my team that really felt limited here my only Pokemon that really really worked was of course the Super Fang Toxic and uh, it can only do so much with um, you know having only bulk and no real pressuring and um, yeah against good players it, it it's, go it's going to fall short, definitely uh, other than that guys, I really feel Dustin deserved his win, I really do, he played great like I said there and that will basically be it. Um, if you like this spell, you, you know, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, guys, you know, remember the sky is the limits. And have a good day, alright? Mm -hmm. Bye.